Welcome back, everyone, to the third episode of The Great War. Uh, for now, it seems like we're almost to the point of stalemate. We're about to enter that gigantic stalemate. It's been two years since the war has started. And, yeah, we're about to enter this gigantic stalemate. Because, honestly, the British won't do... They have naval supremacy. I'm not going to deny them their massive advantage they have over me. Uh, however... Catch up to these people, please. Seriously. Like, kill kill this five stack, and then we can... Oh, yeah, totally. Do it! Do it! Attack me! Attack me! Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be terrible for them. Oh, this is gonna be terrible for them. Yes, keep attacking. Just keep... Just... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, they attacked way more than I thought they did. That should still be a massive defensive. Yep. Yeah, that's... I'm killing so many more of them than they are me. It's not even funny. Plus this other death stack right here. So, anyways, guys, basically, we're at a massive stalemate, and there's not much we can really do about it. Until, the only thing we can possibly do about this is that we're just going to have to build up our own navy to try to counteract the British navy. Because, once the Americans finish up with the conquest over here, we're basically going to have no war score. And it's just going to be us versus the British, and it's going to be a massive stalemate. Like, just massively stalemate. They do have a, they do have a slight control over some of my provinces, but really... None of the mainland is being conquered, and honestly, yeah, <laughs> we can't move any of our troops to the British, so just be prepared for this massive stalemate as we slowly, I guess we basically will win this war by the fact the British will not be able to get their war score. Oh gosh, this is going to be a huge battle. Oh, whoops, I read that wrong. I thought that was 30 versus like, <laughs> they're going to die even quicker now. Oh gosh, yeah. I'm losing a couple of men. First minister appointed! Okay. Go send... Have you guys in pursuit. Have you guys go destroy these guys up there. Yeah, these guys are gonna die right here. I'm... I basically destroyed all their lines of defense. Uh... 46 death stack. Just... Going to annihilate them. Yeah, you guys get out of here. This is my conquered land. Go right here. Go destroy these guys. No matter how many men they send over, they're just going to be able to send... Oh my goodness, they got access to the stupid... Ah, uh, snap. They got access. So, what does that mean? I have to actually care about over here. So, let's see. What is our defenses? Hmm. Let's see. I have a couple of transports over here. I have a couple of transports somewhere over here. Ew. You guys let a British fleet in. Good job, you idiots. What is it mostly comprised of? Light ships and the mostly outclassed, I'm hoping? No. They're mostly advanced. So, yeah. I'm going to see if I can go sneak in like a death stack of 63 down here into my colonies. Because I'm probably not going to need to fight this. Uh, man. Every time I keep thinking, I'm not going to be able to... I'm gonna not gonna, I got this war figured out. They all, the British seem to just definitely surprise me. Which I do like. They definitely do have many surprises, but... Yeah, you guys are gonna lose right there. Um, what we're gonna need to do now from over here is we're gonna have to defeat the biggest army first. So we're gonna go send in all of our troops to go defeat the, uh, 45 death stack. Capital punish, I shall certainly be happy to meet with them. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You know what, let's do this. Cause I think that's a way nicer way of saying it. Uh... But let's see, with the amount of men we have, it should actually disbalance our troops. But if we defeat these guys quickly enough, I think it'll basically turn... Well, it basically turns the British offensive against them, because the biggest army defeated, they won't have any way of grouping up and making an even bigger death stack, which is what we are kind of worried about. With the Germans, though, I wish the Germans were a little bit more powerful navally, because it would help us a lot. Sadly, oh my goodness, they're invading a lot of different places right now. I was not paying attention. Okay, never mind. We don't actually need troops to go anywhere. We need to go defend our own land. I hate the, fa I hate the fact that they get access to the Ottomans right now. That is so annoying. So, we're just going to destroy whatever forces are right here. Yeah, you see, they're trying to reinforce themselves right now. This is exactly why I had to destroy this. Okay, oops, messed up. Apparently they were going somewhere else. Well, anyways, 
you guys are probably going to be working in close proximity to each other. It seems like we're actually getting some reinforcements from the uh, Romangians, which should actually help us out a lot. Portugal is about to be added back into our sphere, I, I believe. Let's see. Uh, two more times. I have two more times before they add it back into our sphere. Another 54 death stack. I don't know where they keep getting all this men. Like, seriously, they had not this many men just a second ago. They must be getting it from the shore. We're eventually going to have to block up the shore if we're going to win this. You guys. Oh, good. You actually got a good death stack together. Okay. Okay. Now, with this death stack, go across that death stack. Okay? Go. Go, guys. Go. I don't think they will do it, but... That is the general vicinity of what you guys should do. Um, seems like we actually have a couple good formidable armies over here. Go sending two good sized troops should be able to defeat whatever. Outrageous! Uh, it's a good thing both Romania and Bulgaria cannot peace out because they're both my vassals. So, even if they do get conquered, I'll be able to get them back on my side. So, anyways, these guys were completely crushed. We're going to go send more troops down here. Yeah, yeah, I know. You guys are so cheap, British. That is so cheap. You should not be able to do that. Uh, grumble, grumble. So, we're going to have to deal with that. I'm not exactly pleased with it, but we're going to have to deal with that. We're almost done with most of the, uh, most of the uh, British African colonies, which is going to be giving them a massive disadvantage to the fact that they can't reinforce too easily between here, but we're going to have to deal with a massive amount of British troops for a little bit. Because we're going to have to deal with the entire Romangian force, which is going to be annoying. It's going to be flat out annoying, I'm not even going to tell you. Wait, you guys aren't allied with me? Wait, why are we not allied, dude? Yeah, seriously. Ukraine, we're buddies. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put you guys right here, just so you guys get right next to each other. I'm going to need you guys to both engage at the exact same time. Um, hopefully the 56 deck stack won't join in, but you never know. Okay. Okay. Both you guys, armies number four and armies number fifth. Wow, I mean, very creatively named. The fourth and fifth army will engage the British, um, probably on different times, but they should... Wow, they crushed them. Wow. Wow. Oh my. Oof. Hmm. Alright, well, let's do it again. <laughs> that was... I... Wow, um, I didn't expect that. Did not expect that. Okay, uh, guys, go crush these guys, seriously. I mean, I want the British to be out of Africa by now. Africa should be mine. Just keep, just keep sieging up everything. We need to make sure Africa is completely underneath our control. It almost is, just has a little bit of problems. By the way, over here, we are we almost ready to convert this into a state? Yay! Oh, not allowed doing war, but yay, it finally can become a state, so once we're done with the war, we can finally do it. Yay, and Germany seems to be able to finish out the rest of here. South Africa is apparently not in this war, which is good, I wouldn't want them to be. Okay, you guys, go attack at the both the exact same time. Yeah, this, if the first one was a slaughter, this one should be, oh no, Greece, why did you do that? Greece, you're just making your land less defendable. Why did you just attack the British out of no reason at all? Oh gosh, that was terrible. Okay, let's get this just so that I can start advancing my army. Okay, and let's destroy whatever. Uh, people should be free to drink. Let's say that. Okay, next, let's go. Come on, hurry! Rushmen, go! Go save! Oh no! The Greeks are now gonna go get. Oh no! No! Save the Greeks! Oh no, no, I have to save the Bulgarians! Oh gosh! Oh gosh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be needed here for a while. Okay. Okay, uh, no, I meant this army. Yeah, no, I meant the other army. There we go. Uh, yeah, you guys go save these guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, go destroy all these men. I'm gonna go save him, I think, yes, I got there! Ha ha, take this, you stupid British! Right, yeah! And now we're gonna go defeat you over there. The powers of friendship. And LSD. Okay, and guns. Guns also help too. So, let's just keep moving down the coast. I think we have the general the generality of most of the troops destroyed. I'm waiting, although I am waiting for the full impact of their, uh, their, uh, British army to actually come and fight me. Because now that I know that India is now open to us, that's going to create a gigantic amount of soldiers fighting us. I don't like that, but it's going to happen. 
There's a there's a military coup d'etat. Ooh, that was actually kind of interesting. Address the nation in this time of hour in this time of need. Of course, I will address my nation as the ruler of of our proud and prosperous nation. By the way, I'm probably gonna have to go destroy all these guys. So let's go get back everything that they sieged. I think. I think generally speaking, okay, let me just make sure, go right there and then go right there. Just to make sure that we make sure Sophia gets back underneath our control, because I don't want that to be a problem. Uh, over here though, seems like we're dealing with the British. Go defeat more of the British armies. The one thing about the British though is that they're sending all their armies in one at a time, which is really kind of easy for me to defeat. And I keep sending them over here, which is kind of also easy for me to defeat. Let's see, you guys are going to... Balzinia. So you guys go right there. You guys go right there. I mean, really, this entire strategy that they're using is so easy to predict. I'm really having a hard time imagining this is really what the British strategy is in the overall scope of things. Uh, capital punishment. As I said, it will be divided. And as I said, it will be thought of as something. And as I said, you guys will move over there and start taking back more of the Bulgarian land that was apparently conquered from our good friends. And I guess I'll keep a good stationary force over here, I guess now that I have to. I have to keep a good stationary force over here in the Ottomans land to make sure they don't get conquered. In terms of the Ukrainians, I do believe that if the United... If the British try anything in Ukraine, I don't think they're gonna win. Ukraine looks like it's armored to a T. I mean, sheesh, goodness gracious Ukraine, you can calm down, we're not that much into this war. And speaking of war, let's see, is there anything else I should worry about? A couple of good, couple of small sized armies over here, we could easily defeat them. Um, seems like they do have a sized army over here, I don't know why, but they do. And we basically have all of British Africa. Now, how is this happening? Did you guys finally destroy, oh good, they finally destroyed that British army, thank goodness. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. I was getting so worried about that. I was like, are they ever going to destroy them? Please tell me they're going to destroy them. Because if I have to go send in more troops, I'm going to be mad. Okay, let's get back over here, though. This is actually... Let's see. We're going to be conquering back all that, so... Violence, wartime elections, whatever. You know, it's, it's a war. What do you expect? People are going to die. People, or people die when they are killed. So let's see. Uh, we're going to conquer back all this land, take down these stupid soldiers that wanted to be a part of this war, and because they fought for the British crown. And granted that the service is admirable, but they're going to lose, because I don't like losing. I don't like the fact that the British were trying to be jerks about it. I mean, literally, I had no intention of declaring war on the British. Like, I don't think we actually have, we had no quarrels with the British. In fact, I was thinking about going to war with France before this, but apparently the British want to fight me so bad. Let's let's do it, British. I'm, I'm game. I'm totally game for fighting you. And there's my actual death stack. Uh, mostly my death stack is immovable. Let's see. Uh, we have a 40k right there. Gonna go send my 48k to go deal with it. Uh, most of all the regions have now been basically conquered. And yeah, British Africa is now gone for. Now they have basically no way of reaching this land all the way down to here without suffering massive nutrition. Actually, I actually do have some islands, but if I have time, I'll go clean them up. Over here, America, you guys, have, you guys made very slow work of Canada. I'm very disappointed with you guys. But I guess, I guess they had to surge a fascist. Ah! If I become a, a, if I become a fascist nation, hmm. I don't know if that'd be ironic or just convenient. I don't know, you guys decide. Okay, they're moving back inside the land. I can just keep all my soldiers here because I don't really need to move. So from now on, they really can't move anywhere else inside my land. I got bought all this blocked up. I got soldiers over here too. So yeah, they can't really use that anymore as an excuse. Apparently there's actual fights going on in Russia land. With the British and the uh, French and the Spanish, I don't know how that's ending up, but <laughs> hopefully Russia's not getting too mad. They're not like, hey, hey, you guys, stop fighting. And they're probably like, oh, man, 
Those outsiders again are fighting. Gosh, when will they ever learn? And now we have to go invade this. And I just realized I never actually started my clock. So, depending on depending on that, I think that was about 10 minutes worth of footage. So we're just going to count from there. And this might be a longer or shorter episode, depending on that. So, yeah. Lucky you guys if it is a longer episode. Uh, unhappy you guys if it is not a longer episode. And let's see. Yep, we're destroying these guys again. Oh my goodness, Britain. You guys may have a bigger empire than me, but you're so decentralized. You're, you're more decentralized than I am. And I consider myself a pretty decentralized army. You guys, decentralized as heck. So now you lost your last big, last big production. So I can basically now fight you pretty easily because you're just going to be landing people on the coast. Or trying to attack me from the Ottoman land. Such a cheeky tactic right there. That is such a cheeky tactic. And we encourage Jindoists. National debate, unemployment, fascism, no, social reform, uh, do not get in, how do we just not get in on this debate, it sounds like it's one of those debates that have too many multiple ants, oh my goodness, 116 soldiers, I don't know what you're doing Spain in my land, but I love it, you guys are helping, lazy names need to learn how to adapt, uh, we're definitely more of a pro-military stance. I don't I don't know where you get this peaceful talk from, because we are definitely warlike. Speaking of which, how is my political... Oh my goodness, this looks like a gigantic pie. <laughs> Look at that, people. It looks like a gigantic pie. Look at all... No one... Not one single majority in almost anything. Gosh, my, my country... Oh my goodness, my country is so fractured. It took literally two years for that to happen. Literally, in 1899, we had... Perfect people. They were all conservative and all rightfully just. Now they want, and I need. I don't even know why they even want it. I'm being a pretty nice guy. Seriously, like I don't this. I don't do too much discrimination. I just recently outlawed discrimination against uh, minorities. So I don't know why I'm such a bad and thought of as a bad person. Let's see. In terms of the Great War, though, um, I believe it's about to come. Hopefully to an end. I'm just going to get all this dismantled stuff because it's pretty useless. I don't know why you're including this in the peace deal because I'm not going to give it to you. Uh, probably not going to give you that either. All I want is the Great War calculation. Okay. They will accept this. Actually, you know what? Let's add our old war goal just to, just to add a war goal. What would we want though? Hmm. We can't get the British anywhere. I've already tried, but we need to. We can actually use this to our opportunity. This is this is fake giving us a chance to do something with it. What should we do with it? Also, that is probably the best color of British Austria I have ever seen. Kudos. Okay, and let's see. Uh, you want me to turn it down? Back everyone, so yeah, apparently I have to be a little bit quieter from now on, so just gonna have to deal with this kind of voice from now on. Um in terms of what we have going for us <laughs> I could end the war right now and get all the British war calculations, but I kinda wish I could figure out some way in in which I can do stuff because um this is kinda what I wanna do. Raise an army and lose 50% of the forces of our enemies. Um, let's see. Since I can get this pretty quickly, I'm gonna add this to our war goal. And with that, what I'm hoping is that uh, we will be able to dismantle the British. I, I don't think this is actually what it actually means, but. You know, I do like the sound of- Oh my goodness, depend on occupation. Okay, I do like the sound of it. So, yeah. I'm definitely gonna use that to my advantage. That's rubbish. Or, laissez-faire, laissez-faire. I love laissez-faire. Uh, do it. Attract- so, Okay. They're like a very unlikely ally in this. So, yeah. Um, we're just gonna finish up our sieges of the British lands. The British lands? Um, America seems to be fighting. Election finished. Uh, 
Uh, the ultra liberals got 74% of the vote. I really don't care. Just don't interfere with me. Allow tanks. Good. So we like. We like tanks. So let's just keep going down our history and everything. Uh, the British still have some control over here, but I'm pretty sure the Argentinians and the, and the Brazilians will be able to take down them. America basically has most of the war score right now, which is kind of why I don't want to peace out um, anyone. Because I kind of want to... Uh, I do want to dismantle the British Empire because that'd be really awesome for us. Um, even though I don't actually think believe it actually does anything in the game, it might be good to actually just at least make them get cut down to size and cut them cut the military down. So, yeah. Uh, liberals declare victory. Yay! I guess I don't really care, but yay! And then influence decision. Which will we probably could go to war with uh, France at this time too. Hmm. Definitely think about going to war with France, because that'd be a cool war. Yeah. We can't really get over to the uh, British lands because there's actually a strait right here. They don't actually tell you this, but there's actually a strait right here. Uh, but France doesn't really like us enough for us to use it, so that's not really going to be an option, but... Hmm. We're just going to have to mainly rely on the fact that we conquered so much of, well, America really. America conquered so much of Canada, we're going to use that against them. Plus also the fact that we have so much war score against them. Um, in fact, I'm also going to add what I think I will do. Um, let's see, forcibly dismantle your empire, let's see. Will they accept just that? Just that. They would not accept this offer. Even with as much war score as we have, um, they would not accept this, just as I thought. So we're probably going to have to bring them up to a little bit higher status. So what I'm going to do is um, is actually add a uh, support support nickel just to give us... Um, basically, this is just to give us some war score, to just basically turn this into our war, no matter what. No matter what they do, no matter what they try can always get this so if I was to take a region from them I probably want to take this region right here is that two regions or is that one region that's two regions dang it <laughs> so I want to take the Gold Coast from them hopefully the Gold Coast isn't actually it shouldn't be an actual province no it isn't okay good so I want to take the Gold Coast from the British Empire so if I add that to my place under the Sun and we can get a lot of stuff from this because we have a lot of stuff so let's see uh, Gold Coast. Uh, <laughs> we can get British Dongo. I'd love to do that actually at some point. But Gold Coast, there we go. We take the Gold Coast from them. Wow, it's really not that much infamy. Okay, we take the Gold Coast from them, and what that basically does is it gives us um basically more war score in our favor. Because, you see what I mean? It gives us time advantage. Uh, which basically, over time, even if this war goes on for a long time, it'll give us, it'll keep giving us more and more war score. Which is what we need. Somebody was just at war. Who's at war right now? Uh, ooh. This doesn't look good. Uh, Chinese unification. Huh. Yeah, that's not exactly something I want to deal with right about now, so... Yeah, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm gonna go send my troops, though, to go protect your land, but... Yeah, you're on your own fighting China. I don't really have... I have drives with China, but they're not big enough for me to go send troops over there to go fight them. At least, at full strength. But... We just have to keep adding enough war goals and war scores to our favor until the point where... We can basically just conquer them. By the way, how are we doing in conquering Persia? Which, I, I give you credit, guys. I never thought you guys would actually be able to reconquer Persia. You're even launching invasions into actual India. Wow. You guys are ambitious, Spain. Gosh, my friends over here, the uh, Ukrainians, are doing anything of that. They're just kind of just killing whatever they have. I love that about them, but still, they're kind of being a little bit... 
Let's get them back on our side, by the way. Yeah. So. I don't, I don't know what the success was, but I hope it wasn't for us. Defenders blockade. Defenders occupations definitely paying on. Yeah. I'm basically just gonna have to keep until the British are willing to accept that I have a way more powerful army than they do, we're never going to be able to get this war over with. So the only problem is is that my army is all the way at the coast and sadly we don't have actually enough forces. I mean we kinda have a a decent sized defense force. Okay. We have a decent sized defense force right now. That's all we have. And I'm not sure this is going to be enough for. Me. We could try it. We could try it. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm definitely not against it. We could just go try it. Oh, Ireland. You're not my friend anymore?